Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we are starting of the new topic that is nothing but HTTP client. So how to make the HTTP request in the Angular 18. So what are the different new concepts that has been introduced in the Angular 18? Let's try to learn it. So I will try to give you the step by step introduction of this Angular HTTP 18 and what are the different options that are available in this HTTP client in Angular. So we'll try to learn it. So in Angular 18, you can provide the HTTP client using the provide HTTP client HT helper function. So if I try to open the notepad plus plus, so I will try to explain you one by one notepad plus plus. So now in Angular 18, so it has been introduced in such a way that so up to now in our videos and something like that, we haven't used it. So we need to use the provide HTTP client. Okay, provide HTTP client. So this is the helper function which is used which is we use typically to configure in your app.config.file so here we will be configuring in the app.config.ts file so that is nothing but i have created a new project so that you can take uh, take a look at this one so here in our app.config.ts file so here we need to provide the <coughs> uh, we need to provide the we need to provide the provide http lines just like the provide router so that is the main thing this is a helper function so this allows your application to use the HTTP client for making HTTP requests like get and post requests. So that means we need to provide it here, provide HTTP client. So what we'll do is set up the, uh, so now here in this one, so what we'll try to do in the providers. So here we need to do the provide HTTP client. So if you try to press enter, so here you'll be able to see that provide HTTP client. And this should be imported from the angular common slash HTTP. So provide HTTP client so maybe this one is not supporting so let's try to import it here directly import from <coughs> at the rate angular at the rate angular slash common slash http that's it so now here you will be having provide http client so here you will be able to get this provide http client yeah that's it so now this is the provide HTTP client and you need to provide it in the app.config so that in the entire application you can able to make the get and post request. So now after finishing this one, so normally in ng module concept, if you are having an ng module concept, if your application is set up with an ng module concept means directly you can use this one in our in your uh, providers. So the sample of this one means it will look like something like this. So you will be having the ng module and in the providers you can use the provide HTTP client which I have used it right now. So this also it is imported from the angular same common slash HTTP. So that is not there. That is nothing. So now we have created, the, we have provided this HTTP client. So how we can do it? So now we can create a service or anything and we can inject the HTTP client into the service. With HTTP client configured, you can now inject it into any service to make the request. So I will try to show you some basic thing. So for this one, what I will try to do it is. So here in our code, I will create one in our, uh, in our source. I will create here <coughs> in our app I will create here a new folder that is nothing but services okay services so this is our services and in these services I will create a config service so config hyphen service dot ts file so this is our ts file so what I will try to do here you will be having an injectable injectable and this should be provided in root so I am directly providing in the root so these are all the concept you have learned in our dependence injection and here I can have export class config config service so in this config service what we try to do so here we need to inject the HTTP client so in the constructor you can inject so constructor so private <coughs> private HTTP client is equal to HTTP client this also should be imported from the angular common HTTP so now we have imported so we can also use the inject also not a problem so now we got it so typically I will try to take say, a simple example like API URL JSON placeholder so I am taking this post thing so here I can have something like get post okay <clears throat> and this uh, return observable of any I will take it as an any only so here you can return this dot HTTP dot HTTP sorry here we have used HTTP client right so HTTP you can use HTTP HTTP dot get <coughs> of this dot API URL that's it finish so now we are returning this one so this returns the observable of post so we uh, this this one also returns something like any I am taking so I, we can keep it so afterwards we'll do it so just I am trying to give you a simple overall introduction to this one 
So in the config service, we have used the get method of HTTP client to fetch data from an API. So now that the service is ready, so let's uh, we use it in our component to fetch and display data. So for this one, what we can do it is I can use uh, something like a new component like uh, uh, post list. Okay. So ng gc post list. So I will create one component post list. In this post list, you'll try to use this <coughs> uh, get post and you'll try to show it. So this is how we'll be doing this uh, HTTP request. So here we have constructor, we have imported this HTTP client using the dependency injection and we are writing the observable. And if you try to see here, you'll be able to see it presents observable of object. And if you want, you can also uh, get this one. So if you try to check this data, so how it is get, trying to get it. So here you can have this data. If you try to see user ID, ID, title and body. So this is the data you are getting, right? You can also create it, export interface post. You can have it like this. And here you are having the user ID, which is of type number. And also we are having an ID, which is of type number. And also we are having title, which is of type string. And also we are having a body which is of type string so this is these are the data so now here you can say that i will be getting the api url i will be getting the array of post so post array so now if you try to over here you will be able to see that it will get an observable of post data so fine so let's go to our <coughs> app iphone uh, sorry post list so this is our component.ts file so now in this component uh, in this one so let's import the common module Okay, and there is no need to import this uh, config service. Why? Because we have provided it in the root. So now let's try to inject the uh, config service. So here I can inject something like private config service is equal to inject. I will be injecting here and that is nothing but config service. That's it. We have injected this config service and in ng on init or otherwise directly you can use it something like post data is equal to this dot config service dot get post that's it so this one is an observable so you can use it directly like a dollar so now we got the get post data so now what we need to do so we need to uh, show this all data so how we can show it so let's go here into our uh, post list dot component dot ts html file so this is our thing and here i can show h2 post data and here if you want to show this one Let's go to the app.component.html file and here I can show something like app-post-list, that's it. So now in our component.ts file also we need to include it. So let's go here. So now you will be able to see the output for this one, post data. And here I will be having a simple ul and here I will loop over for loop. So post of post dollar iphone async, okay. So now here you will be having post dot id. So now here I can use something like la item and in this la item I will try to show only the post dot title. That's it enough. So just this is this concern is how we can do the API request. So now here we are able to see all the post data. So this is how we will be making the HTTP client request. So simple we have did it nothing and here <coughs> we have took the data. Where is this one? post list dot html yeah we have uh, we have injected our config service and this config service is the main thing which we have injected our http client and we are returning the post here so here the post list component is a standalone component and in this one what we have did it we have injected our config service it is used to get an instance of the config service to make http calls and the get post method for, uh, from the config service is called on uh, like this and we can be able to get it so that's it guys about this one so hope you understood about this concept so we have configured the so in, the, in this video we have configured about this HTTP client and the application using provide HTTP client and we have created a config service to handle the HTTP request and we have used this config service in our component and we, we have fetched the data and displayed the data. So that's it. So if you try to see in our inspect element also in the network tab, so you will be able to see that the request has been made. So if I try to go to the page XHR and if I refresh this page, so here you will be able to see that JSON placeholder data has been caught. And here, this is a push data we have called it. And oh, sorry. So, here, if you try to observe the data clearly, and this is our preview, and this is the response. And in this response, we are showing the title. So, that's it, guys, about this one. So, if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.